okay guys uh, after you know my previous video I showed you how to uh, store data in a data store right and um, again as you if you remember very well here you know you can see that you actually made it to storing the uh, post in the data store but the question is how long would you like to have that you only need to do that until a certain point and then you realize wow I think people might want to read my post and that's why I need to display them on my web page so in order to display posts like this you know you wanna do some coding okay just a few lines of code and you will be set so what we are going to do here is inside our uh, you know the place where we wanna show the post I call mine blog and in this case as you can see it is right there I just went ahead and you know used a get method and inside that get method I'm making some j you know some queries so I just query my database right in this case I'm querying the uh, the data store and getting everything that is inside the post model and then I'm limiting it to 10 you can you know filter everything you want but at this point that's it for now uh, and then I create a dictionary here because look this self dot render accepts a dictionary uh if you pass in a dictionary it will you know it will display it will actually give you uh more functionality so in this case I'm creating a dictionary called post dictionary and the key is posts and the po the value is posts in this case the same thing that we just got from our data store so when I say self dot render index dot html and then star star post dictionary in this in this case star star indicates that it, it is expecting uh, this render method is expecting a dictionary and in this case you know that should really make sense because we just created one here now after that maybe the most important thing to jump into right now is showing you how this works with the uh, HTML because what we are doing with this template is saying we need to run some Python code inside the the HTML markup but how do we do that it is pretty simple inside the div class I've just you know created a h1 h2 level header here just to s display that uh, your latest posts are here something like that and then we just say left calibrates left and uh, right calibrates inside the calibrates we say uh, percent sign and then percent sign and then for post in posts if you know some Python this should sound familiar this is a for loop we're saying for post in posts we're getting uh, post dot title and then post dot add date dot string format you just format the date the way whichever way you want it and then post dot content so we're just accessing the properties that we stored earlier and it really should be sounding familiar right now so after that though remember to end this by saying left and right uh, calibrates and then percent percent and then end for this one right here now the best thing to do right now is to end the weight and try it out so uh, I'm going to clear this out and let's go ahead and refresh our page here and it's still empty right what about if we create uh, a new post let's say hello world mm -hmm. now after that we say this is my first post and I love it typo there don't worry and let's say refresh huh now people can actually see what we posted yeah I did some CSS and stuff like that to make it beautiful but I know this is not so beautiful let's try it again okay try another one this is my second post and I am rolling right now and I think you love this too or not whatever I don't know now if we do that let's refresh this again and wow this is my second post and it shows the date and it shows everything decorated like that you can add more and more and more but maybe we should check our data store and see if there are some stuff stored huh two of them just like they show up here wow okay that that is uh, probably good enough for now and this should be pretty easy all you need to do is query the data store and then create a dictionary and then pass that dictionary to the render method 
and the uh, index.html file or whichever place you want to you want to show them and then you know make sure that after you submit something you redirect the user back to uh, where you expect that form uh, the, the post to be that's it for now and i hope you had fun and if you have any questions please remember to ask in the comment section and uh, subscribe thank you